Keels are early Christian chapels that we had maybe hundreds of them on the island. Now we've got probably only about three dozen of them left with standing above the ground. The remainder have been washed away, ploughed away or otherwise disappeared. Keels are significant because they are places of worship. We don't know how they were used or indeed why they are where they are. They're generally situated in some important or significant location. It can be quite hard to date them. However, for example, here at Corridy, when this was examined about 100 years ago, in the middle of the keel floor when they cleaned it up, they found a cremated burial inside a Bronze Age urn. So we believe that the keel is on top of a Bronze Age burial. This is a community project to learn more initially about the keels, although the techniques we're uh, all learning can be used for other archaeology. So we're using geophysical instruments to search beneath the ground. So we're seeing beneath the ground to look for traces of people who have been here. It's all volunteers. We have got our local volunteers and we have got a team of visiting experts from the Bath and Camerton Archaeological Society who've come to join us, help with the surveys and to help to do some more training. Well, we were invited by the Keels Research Group to come over and help out with looking at Keels in this very lovely island and also to uh, show people how we do geophysics and help them gain knowledge on how to do it themselves. A non-invasive, non-destructive form of survey and we're just looking to see what's under the ground using uh, our instruments. That hedge is gone, yeah. so the, the actual current field, so you want to go up to that corner? Yeah. Which yeah. is? We're right up that... to, well let, let's, why not go right to the top? To the road. I think if you just look around, one of the reasons I'm here is we've got the chance to survey one of the most remarkable sites, beautiful sites, magical sites on the Isle of Man. A few parts per million is the signal which is telling us about the archaeology and the instrument which uh, goes up and down, up and down, bleeping all day long, that is recording in great detail um, ditches and bumps and stonework associated with the archaeology. And then the other instrument which also bleeps um, is a resistivity machine that injects an electric current into the soil and the electric current uh, prefers to pass through wetter ground, say a ditch or a pit with wet soil in, and it finds it harder to pass through stony features like this, this boulder here. So when we pass the electric current, again, um, in detail on a grid base, we can see uh, walls, stony features such as uh, uh, paths and roadways, and we can also see pits and ditches full of damp soil. When we're gathering the data, we don't really pay much attention to the actual numbers that are being logged, but those numbers are passed into a computer, the computer scales them and calibrates them and produces a black and white photograph, a photograph of the magnetic field, a photograph of the soil moisture, and then we use our archaeological knowledge, our archaeological expectations, um, to make a, an interpretation. And there were bits of stone just falling off the edge of that, which could be tumble. Um, and then the other features were a few metres away from that and seem to be slightly curved. Anybody who's driven by a desire to learn more about Manx history, anybody who likes to be the first to see a hidden landscape on a computer screen, there's a real chance of discovery. So we are going to carry out this research and we will be publishing that uh, online. We have a, a website, keels.im, to publish that on and it will be given as lectures and properly lodged as scientific literature. Uh, we're also, though it's the idea that we're going to enthuse people, people will know about it. Our archaeology on the island is under threat, we're losing historic buildings, and those are the buildings that we know about. Here, um, most of the known keels, the upstanding keels still, are known about and respected. A few are protected, but they're generally respected. But if you don't know about something, you can't value it. So this NA is to inform us about what's around and it may give us an idea of areas that might need a bit of protection or at least a bit of respect. <laughs>